guys, it's Old Man G here, um, and this is the first of hopefully many um, combined um, 11 videos. And today, um, I'm going to be talking about Liverpool versus United combined 11. Who do you think will be in Liverpool versus United combined 11? Discuss it um, in the comments. But I'm going to give you what my opinion is the combined 11 for Liverpool United team. And I'm just going to give you a heads up, a few rules, and also a few heads up. The first heads up is one, I'm not a Liverpool fan. Um, there are going to be a lot of Liverpool players in this combined 11 and that's not because I love Liverpool but it's it's just being real it's just being real right now Liverpool are quite some distance ahead of Manchester right United now, so we just got to be um, quite some distance oops, ahead so we just got we just got to just uh, appreciate that um second thing formation wise it's going to be 4231 so we're obviously going to uh, we're going to choose that formation just to, to get a balanced amount of players that are going to be in this squad um and then lastly, um, at the end of the day, this is my opinion. By all means, discuss in the comments, um, agree to disagree. But this is just my opinion, what I think um, was, is, is the combined Liverpool versus United um, 11. And on top of that, we're also going to be, uh, lastly, sorry, we're going to be talking about players that are fit for this game. Okay, players that are fit for this game. So, you know, so in, in, the, in that sense, Pogba is not going to be in... Um, Fabinho, I don't think it's going to be in because I don't think he's fully fit. So we're only talking about players that are potentially going to be fit for this upcoming game that are going to be included as combined 11. Okay, so that's basically the rules. So let's basically get into it. So um, in goal, um, it's Allison. It's Allison over the hair, guys. I mean, in, in previous years, I would have probably said, um, I would have said uh, De Gea um, without any question. Um, but... The reality is, is that we've barely kept any clean sheets this season. De Gea has not kept any clean sheets this season. He's also made a few um, significant errors. And Allison, despite the fact that he was injured, I think, for a few games start, has, has, has continued to go from strength to strength. His distribution is much better than De Gea's. He's obviously got more clean sheets than De Gea. Um, and um, uh, an all-around better shop stopper right now in this season, you know. So, um in goal, you know, it's got to it's got to be Allison. Um, I don't I, I I don't have any complaints. I don't think anyone can have any complaints. Uh, unfortunately, first centre back on the field, Van Dijk. Um, even the most biased Manchester United fan has to realise that Van Dijk gets into almost any you know any team around the world right now. You know, uh, starting eleven. You know, almost any. That that's just that's the reality of it. Um, he does. Um, he, he easily get into ours, and that's why he's his first pick in terms of that centre back position. Um, I didn't actually think that when he came to the ball, he he do as as well as he did, but he he proved me wrong. Um, and he's one of the reasons that Liverpool are on course to winning a title this season. He's very good Champions League behind his belt, and he's going through. I don't think it's necessarily the best season this season, but you know that's sort of the standards that you're at. Where you're not having the best season, and yet you're still goodness knows how many points ahead of the competition. Um, so Van Dyke, you know, he, he, he's, 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 there, there should be no real, you know, is there really anyone else in the United squad that can really sort of displace Van Dyke? Not a chance. So Van Dyke, okay. Now to prepare him, Harry Maguire, okay. Now if there are any Liverpool fans that be watching this, go, oh, you want, what about Matty? What about Gomez? What about well, okay, not Lovren. I mean, come on, let's let's be real, okay. Harry Maguire is definitely better than than Lovren. Um, Matty uh, obviously has been injured, so he's not included. So really, the only other um, player I was going to consider was was Gomez, um, and I think it's like for like. I think I think, I think that Gomez and Maguire actually will be England's centre back pairing. I think going going forward, um, yes, Sam Maguire has 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 had some difficult games and spells, but I do think that if we're talking about pair uh, partnership with Van Dijk. Um, I do think his experience, his maturity, uh, and his also leadership from the back, I think edges him j just over Gomez. You know, so like I'm not saying Gomez is a bad defender, so but I just think that um, Ham Maguire with those traits and and also his area threat, and that's the big thing that he's. Although United aren't necessarily playing to that strength, Ham Maguire is very good in the air and a and a clearing with the ball. So I think from that point of view. Ham Maguire is is the is, is the other centre back in this in the starting eleven. Um, left back Robertson um, 
is there really? I mean, again, it's your, your, the other options. United obviously are um, Shaw and Williams. Shaw's obviously um, either injured or, or, or I don't think is, is good enough. Um, and Williams is, is, is too much for a kid. Um, so you're left with Andy Robertson, who you could argue is possibly um, the best right back even in Europe. You know, so he's good going forward um, offensively and he's good coming back defensively as well. You know, he's definitely the best left back in the Premier League. And I, and I can't think of many um, better left backs in Europe than, than Andy Robertson right now. Um, and I'm, I'm not saying that because I love Liverpool. I don't. I hate them. Um, but I'm just I'm also a football fan. I'm a realist. And the reality is that certainly for a combined United Liverpool 11, um, Andy Robertson is much ahead of what we've got. Now here comes to the next one, which which for me was difficult, very very difficult. Who plays to the right? Um, and unfortunately, it's Trent Alexander Arnold. And we, we I'd be discussed this in the in the show um, last time. Um, a lot of people saying Wan Bissaka, and I do think this is one of the very closest ones. I think for me, it was between Wan Bissaka and Trent. Yes, Wan Bissaka is very very good defensively, absolutely. Um, but the reality is that yes, Trent. Wan Bissaka is just not good going forward as of yet. Um, he's getting slightly better, but he's not great. Um, Trent Alexander Arnold has improved defensively. Okay, is he as good as Wan Bissaka defensively? No. Okay, but he has improved defensively. He's not bad. He's not terrible. Um, obviously, because Liverpool's clean sheets. Um, you know, certainly in recent years, is actually uh, certainly in recent games has been has been fine. And the reality is that because he goes forward so much and causes teams major problems, he doesn't even have to worry about that per se. Um, the amount of deliveries, the, the attacking intent that he does, everyone obviously remembers the Barcelona game, um, is almost a second to none. Um, so it's very, very close. But I think Trent Alexander-Arnold right now is probably more of the c completer, uh, more, more, more complete fullback that maybe just needs to work a bit more on defending. But... It's not that he's a bad defender. Um, I just think that he just edges wan out uh, on this one. Okay, so say so we're playing 4-2-3-1, two, so two holding midfielders. Um, Jordan Henderson. Um, to be honest, guys, I really don't think that any of Manchester United midfielders are going to get into this combined 11 right now. Um, Jordan Henderson got a lot, of, um, a lot of haters, a lot of stick. Um in previous years, you know, what could he do? Slow Gerard, etc. etc. Um, and yet he's proved not so wrong. He's 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 been quite solid in Liverpool's midfield, he's been the main state of that midfield, um, despite you know the um injury ravaged squad. Um and he's doing well. And again, he, again, unlike our midfielders, he's a Champions League winner, he's a leader as well. Um, he's obviously the captain at times. Um, so Jordan Henderson, you know. In this formation, anyway, um, as a 4 2 he definitely, definitely comes in. I don't think there's any, you know, what are the com other competitions that United have in midfield? Well, we have, in terms of fit, again, Matic and Fred. That's about it. Uh, Garner has not played at all. So we have Matic and Fred. And Henderson, in my opinion, um, is better than Matic and Fred, although Fred has got better. Um, but, you know, that's, um, that's, that's what it is. Okay, moving on. Um, one Alden, one Alden, one Alden, one Alden. Um, obviously, say in this formation, um, but yes, it would be it would be Genie one Alden. Um, again, much like in Henderson, very very involved in creating goals, making things happen. Um, he's been very influential in that midfield for Liverpool this season. Um, and the reality again is, I just don't, I can't think of out of well, of Fred or Matic. Um, you know, they don't. They just don't. They don't, they don't displace. They don't displace uh, Henderson when out in this midfield. You know, Liverpool have, uh, unfortunately, overall, even though they're not necessarily deemed to be world class, but they're still better in terms of communication, work rate, um, technique, um, as well as ability um, than our midfield. So, so there you go. So that's our, that's our whole midfielders. Let's move on. So. On the on the right right wing, Mo Salah. Mo Salah. So as we're pointing four two three one, um, you know, 
he's he's he himself Salah is not necessarily having his best of season. I think Mane's actually been doing a, a lot better um, than um, than um, Salah's season. But the thing is, Salah still scores a lot of very very clutch goals. Um, and again, when we compare with who's the competition from the United, who's playing on the right, um, you've got Lingard, um, Pereira potentially, and Daniel James. You know, let's let's let, let let's be real here. You know, Salah versus Lingard, Pereira, or Daniel James. It's going to be Salah. There's literally no competition for Manchester United. The right wing position at United has always been a problem at our club for good, for probably I would say the last ten years. Um, and there's so many other teams that have better right um, wingers, right midfielders um, than we do. And you know, it's 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 just Salah. There's just this, even the most biased Manchester United fan was not going to come here and tell me that Link Jesse Lingard is better than Mo Salah. Yeah, let, 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 let's 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 not have let's not be having that at all. Um, next on the left, Mane, 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 uh, Mane, Mane, Mane. He's arguably been Liverpool's best player this season. Um, yes, and are people going to quote him and say that Liverpool's front three haven't scored as much as. United's front three, um, but given the given the fact that the amount of games that Mane has played, what he's been involved with, um, the amount of also clutch goals that he's scored, and how he fits in this team, because remember this is a four-two-three-one formation, and I'll tell you who's going to be playing up top in a second. Um, Sadio Mane has to come into this. He is um, as 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 painful as it's a man. He is better than what we have on the left. Um, he could argue, you know, um, you know. I think he's better than Martial. Martial is when he plays and that's been inconsistent. Rashford will come to later, <laughs> um, but you know, I just think that um, Mane's got to come into this in this team. Um, like African Football Player of the Year, um, he, he's 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 here. I don't think many Manchester United fans realistically can have any complaints. In the number ten position, okay, and this is where and just understanding this, like. Yes, for me, it's a false line, but just so that this team works, you know, Firmino. Um, Firmino, false nine, although he's in the number 10 position in, in this in this squad, he comes in. The front three have to play together, basically, because they just have so much chemistry. And Firmino, irrespective of what people say, um, he, um, he can also drop into midfield as well, which would help um, the likes of Wijnaldum Henderson, who are in the squad. Um but yeah, he 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 just links he links he links the midfield with the attacking play very 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 well. He drops with he's very def he, he defends very well as do, as does Mane as well. Um, and um, I think he's quite an underrated player. Isn't really showy, just does his job for the for the club and that's it. He's a Champions League winner and they're going to be Premier League winners fairly soon. So Mino in that position, which brings lastly to who's in the number nine up top. Marcus Rashford, you know, Marcus Rashford, okay, you know, again, a lot of fans going, oh, I should probably put, but, you know, that statistic of our front three score more goals than their front three, and obviously, yes, Liverpool did get their goals other sources, but you need Marcus Rashford in this team, I think, you know, I think that Marcus Rashford has improved quite a bit this season. Okay, yes, he's been injured, and, and I'm and I'm um, streaming this with the assumption that Marcus Rashford is going to play against Liverpool. Um, and Marcus Rashford, if he wasn't, I don't know if he's injured out, then then Marcus Rashford would be in the squad. Um, come on, eleven. Um, but he's got to be in, in this squad. Um, he hasn't put a lot this season. He usually scores against Liverpool. Funnily enough, you know, so so he's always in a threat. He's been scored against a lot of the major teams this season, including City, both times. Um, Spurs, um, Chelsea, and the like, you know. So he is a big game player when it comes to big goals, and you just got to have Marcus Rashford in his side. Um, and frankly, we need we need to at least put at least one or two United players in because I've on account. I think the only two players that are coming from United to represent this combined eleven are Marcus Rashford and Harry Maguire. Um, unfortunately, so yeah, four two three one, Marcus Rashford um, at the top, and who's the manager? Well, who else? It's Jurgen. Jurgen Klopp is going to be the manager of this of this combined eleven. Um, Jurgen is, is not. I love Oli. 
Um, I lo do love him. I love what he accomplished. And he accomplished more as a, as, a, as a player than Jurgen Klopp obviously has. But the reality is that Jurgen Klopp has accomplished and has continued to accomplish more as a manager than, than Solskjaer has. Um, he took lowly Dortmund and won the Bundesliga. And he's um, he's won the champ. He's been in multiple finals. Um, he's won the Champions League final with Liverpool, obviously last season, and they're on course to win the Premier League. They're on course. They're going to win the Premier League this season as well, and they're still in the Champions League and the FA Cup. So um, it's got to be Jurgen Klopp. Um, fair play to him. Um, he is the better manager. And again, I don't think any United fan, unbiased United fan, um, could really sort of dismiss that. Um, but uh, you know, fair play to him. Fair, fair play to him. Right. So that is our Liverpool versus United combined eleven. Let me know what you think um, in in the comments. We're going through. To say, oh, our old man G, do you think that uh, well, that's a lot of nonsense? Or oh, Wampus Sack should be there, Marshall should be there, all the all, all the rest of it. Let me know what you think. Please do remember to like, share, and subscribe to Red Devil Studio. Follow us on Twitter. At we United X, and let me know if you like this. Like, I'm hoping to do some of these pre-recorded, um, combined like 11s for like a lot of, uh, for the rest of the season, and just let me know what you guys think. Um, have a nice day, guys, and cheers.